Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yo Anti, and today I'm making a video to talk about the upcoming Nike Dunk High Red October. Okay, so this is very interesting because it's funny because Nike is basically ripping off their own shoe. You know, this is something that you maybe would have seen from like, you would think you'd see, when we first saw pictures of these, we're like, I'm like, everyone's like, oh, those are fake, those aren't real. Nike wouldn't do that. It appears they are, and it's a very interesting move because they're basically capitalizing on something they, you know, made very popular, them and Kanye West, but they're basically saying, you know what, and I don't think a lot of people thought, like, it's them saying, like, an F you to Kanye for leaving. I don't think that's the case at all. I think they just see an opportunity to maybe create something that, I don't know, I think gives the consumer a chance to buy something that's like the Yeezy. Um... We saw it with the Nike SB uh, Tiffany. You know, they, they made the exact same shoe in a high to give the consumer the chance to buy. And and I'm not going to lie, I think these look really great. So that's why it's a little frustrating because I want to be like, eh, it's a poor man's Red October. It's not the easiest. It's a wannabe easy. But it's not like it's some ripoff company doing it. It's Nike doing it, basically saying like, no, we're gonna we're gonna take a concept from a shoe and we're gonna put on another shoe. Now nothing's off limits. You know, like I said, once when I saw the DB3 get DB3s get retroed, that's when you knew nothing was off limits. Nothing was ever you know uh, sacred. It's if any shoe could be retroed, any shoe could be remade, and this is a perfect example of them basically taking a shoe they created with Kanye West and said, you know what, we're gonna take that inspiration, we're gonna put it on a Dunk High. And and honestly, for me personally, I really like it. it and it's one of those things where I kind of want to not like it and think like, oh, that's cheesy or that's, you know, just a you know poor man's Red October because I could never get the real one. But at the end of the day, like, red shoes are nice. We all like red shoes. I think it's in some of the details on it are cool. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I personally like it just like my... You're the horse, Nike SBs. I love those because they've got some really cool red suede. It's just a, it's a nice looking sneaker. I would really like to see these in hand to see how the quality is. When I first saw them too, I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was Nike SB at first, but it's just a normal, uh, dunk high. So I am very curious to hear your guys' opinions, your guys' thoughts. I think there's a lot of people are gonna have strong opinions about this, and and I think that's okay. You know, and even me, I'm 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 torn. You know what I mean? I really am kind of torn because it's almost at the same time too. It almost seems like from Nike, it's so unoriginal. The fact that they're like, I, couldn't they come up with a new concept, or is this just like easy? Like, hey, we'll sell a ton of these and. It is what it is. We'll just take the same design. There's, There was no real, you know, design or thought into this. They're just taking a colorway. And if this is the case, if they're going to do it with the Red, Red October, why do they not? They should just do it with all the easy colorways. You know what I mean? And, and at the same time, people that really like the theme of the Yeezy, you know, with the little red etched out, um, you know, hits and, and the all red, this gives them a chance to get a shoe that's like that, that's actually authentic. Like, I would say definitely buy these over buying, like, a fake pair of Yeezys or even spending 3000 on a pair of Yeezys. Like, so at the end of the day, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like, it's a red shoe. Who doesn't like red shoes? I know I do. So, um, you know, I'll be curious to he to see what Nike says when they release them. Like, are they just going to be like, check out the new Red Dunk High? Or are they going to... If they acknowledge that, like, they're taking inspiration from the Red Octobers, I actually would like that better. I'd like if they, they just took the story of, you know, this was such a classic, or not even, yeah, this was such a, this was such a hit, this was such a special release, we wanted to put it on a dunk high, and we thought it looked awesome. You know, I want to, I want to hear from them, uh, you know, when this release actually happens, so stay tuned, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can get for some release info, probably, you know, June, July, I would guess, so I just wanted to make this video to talk about uh, this, and please leave your comments, I definitely want to read these and get a sense of what people are saying, people are thinking, uh, as always guys, thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, check out yoanti.com, check out my shop where I've got t-shirts for sale, check out my vlogging channel, it's called Yoanti, yoanti.com, jeez, I have a lot, all the links are in the description, just look at the description, okay, alright, I'll see you guys, peace!